my mother was a very orthodox secularist. When she, the, the, her, her path there led, was, uh, began with a young woman from a small, small town, came, you know, 18 year old or 17 or whatever, came to Warsaw, left home, and the local rabbi wanted her watched over. So he uh, uh, wrote my grandfather, could he watch over her? And my grandfather decided the best way was to give her a job. She would be the tutor to, to his daughter, because girls were not sent to school, uh, not of these families. He would be the tutor for, for, for his daughter, for, 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 for Haya, and uh, in return, she would get all her dinners, which of course meant that she had to be there every day for the dinners. <laughs> And she did this for about a year. And then she told uh, my mother, you know, she was ready to move on. But she also told her, I've taught you everything I know. I've barely finished, you know, whatever, third grade, <laughs> whatever she finished. Because she came from a poor family. So she did go to school, but not very long. And, but you should go to school. So my mother informed her parents that she wanted to go to school. And they said, no, sorry, you can't go to school. So she went on a hunger strike. And she was maybe 11, 12 around that time. And she went on the hunger strike for almost two weeks. That's what she told me. Maybe true, false memory, I don't know. Uh, but she went on, and finally they gave in. They said, OK. So they sent her to a Jewish, obviously, not an Orthodox Jewish school, because those don't deal with girls. And uh, that's how she got to school. So that was her first step away. 